Innova, the industry leader in diagnostic tools and equipment for the past 30 years, is now offering repair solutions, an incredible online service aimed to help you diagnose, repair, and maintain your vehicle. Premium members on Repair Solutions will have access to verified fixes provided by actual factory trained technicians, step-by-step -step instructions to help guide you through the repair process, and even how-to videos to demonstrate each repair. For more information, please visit us at Innova.com. Our service vehicle is a 1999 Acura Integra. What we're going to be doing is changing the seat belt buckle today. It requires simple tools. We're going to require a flashlight to look under the seat for our electrical connection. We're going to use a flat bladed screwdriver to pop out the little tab right here to access our screws. They're Phillips head, so we're going to use a Phillips head blade screwdriver. Also, the bolt on the side is a 14 millimeter, and we're going to use a ratchet wrench for this. The seat belt buckle is an important part of the vehicle. Not only does it hold the passengers secure in a possible accident, it also tells the airbags when to go off. So if it's not right, if it's bad, it could tell the airbags not to deploy properly. Also, if the dash light, SRS light, is on on the dash after you replace the seat belt, you may have to have a technician investigate the light even further. You know what? Let's get started with our seat belt installation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the cover off. Next what we're going to do is we're going to remove our two screws. We're going to move our seat forward. So let's go ahead and remove our two screws. There's one here and there's one on the opposite side. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead remove our console and we'll lay it aside. Our seat belt is located right here. We can actually take our 14 millimeter wrench. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this bolt right here. We're just going to take that out of there. On the underneath of our seat we're going to have some attachment pins. We have one, two, and an electrical connection with another pin there. We're going to get our flashlight. We're going to get up underneath the seat and we're going to remove these three pins and that connection. Once we've removed our seat belt, what we want to do is we want to check to make sure it's the same. We want to check the electrical ends. Make sure it's in. Also, the manufacturer may have a warranty on these. You may want to contact them first before you go to attempt this. While you're at the auto parts store, you can check to see if there is a warranty on these. So let's go ahead, reinstall our seat belt. You want to make sure that you get the electrical connection in there. You want to make sure that it's tight, everything's good, and it won't come loose. You know, when you're moving the seat forward and back, I want to make sure that you'll actually hear it click if it's installed properly. Let's do that. So before we get everything back together again, what we want to do is we want to make sure that our seat belt actually holds. Once we've done that, let's go ahead, reverse order, reinstall our console. So there's just one more thing to check. Let's buckle up for our safety and check our dash for our SRS light. Look at there, everything seems to be great. Visit us at Innova.com and subscribe to Repair Solution Services.